Saturday, May 12th, 2012. Welcome to the vlog. It's, it's been nice 63 degrees, and I can't really tell if that's just a little hazy. It's not really overcast, but it's nice. So I'm just pulling into the grandparents' house now, and here he is, already. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Guy going around collecting money. They got the net up over here at the country club. That's good. That it look, muddy, yeah. yeah, look how muddy look the how water muddy is. That is. I don't think how that gets so muddy. The water's been brown like that for uh, a month or two, I think. I believe that. Yeah. And there's the house terrible. with the M3. Oh, deja vu. Every single time. We did this last weekend, too. Seven days later, we're back. Freaking rates we are. We got a beautiful day for trades. Here comes the observation car, or the, the, I don't think that's the dining car maybe, with the thing on the top. Yeah, it's got the antler up there. Observation car's on the end, right? Nice Except green. it's not. Hey, check out what's behind me. Mr. Bangle and the E60 BMW M5. Holy crap. All right, guys, 6.30 here on the 12th. Um, be quite, quite honest, today was a terrible day. Crap happened all day. Everything that I tried to fix and do went wrong, came back and blew up in my face. I cut the grass. It wasn't too bad. I could only make like five passes before I had to go and dump the thing out. Then I run over a snake in the back. I didn't see it. And the thing gets cut up and shoved in the, uh, the grass catcher and it gets stuck in the little holes. So when I go and I dump the grass out, I didn't know this until I started dumping the grass out. I see the snake there. I didn't know it was a snake. So I'm pulling the thing out with my hands. It's like oozing all over the place. Then I put one and one together to get four, right? And I realized it's a snake. And I got snake guts all over my hand. And that sucks. And I have another problem with the mower. Here's the engine, or part of the engine that, uh, well, the differential and gearbox, I guess, is right there. Which, well, there'd be no differential. But the gearbox is there, which sends it out through splines here to a pulley with belts that turn the wheels. Well, on the right side, the pulley, or the, uh, the shaft here that goes out to the pulley, keeps pulling out of the transmission. What, what good is that? So then I look down, my right wheel's not spinning, my left one's tearing the yard up, the engine's revving at twice the speed it should, and the spline is hanging out of the engine. Which means, obviously on the other side, I gotta torque these wing nuts off, one of which I broke. Uh, it's actually not that one, but it looks like that one's been broken too. Then this cover comes off, then you gotta kick the shit out of it until it goes back in the engine. And I had to do that six times today while mowing. So I don't know if there's a cotter key missing that keeps everything tight. I don't know what's going on, that's cocked. And then we went to lunch today. We went to Fisher's, it was an excellent lunch. I elected to drive because my car was already out. He wanted to take the Cadillac or the uh, Genesis, and I said, well, mine's already out, the engine's warm, I got my tunes in there, let's go. So we had a nice ride there. You know, we went up, we picked up the piece from Sohar's today, we got that. It's got some bubbles on the end, I don't know if it's the right one, it better be. So I'm driving up there, that's fine, we leave, I'm going over to Acme with them to get stuff for a party, we're having, or a get-together tomorrow night for Mother's Day. 58 miles an hour, I'm in the right-hand lane, the slow lane, waiting for um, the exit to come up. It's like a quarter of a mile to the exit, and there's a lawn mowing truck in front of me with all this shit on the back, and it merges lanes in front of me last second. Well, guess what he ran over? A rock. Of course. Couldn't have been a leaf or something. Runs a rock over, comes up, and does this. Freaking right. Now, if there is a place on a windshield that I would like a chip and a large crack that's growing, I guess it would be down in this corner. But still, how much does that suck? Why, why can't things work out for me? I'm sorry I'm bitching, but... Come on, 58 miles an hour. I can see if I'm doing like 158, but Jesus Christ. So now I got that to deal with. And I'm fairly certain that it can't be repaired. And to tell you the truth, the car's got a lot of highway miles on it. There's plenty of little, not that bad, anywhere near that bad, but there's a lot of little dings and stuff, little dents in the glass, as Taylor would say. Um, and I've always noticed that. I cleaned the windshield, it's not perfect. There's plenty of marks in it. But now I have no idea what a windshield is gonna cost on that if I have to replace it. And then the question comes up, should I even worry about it? That's a 12-year-old, 161,000-mile car that realistically isn't worth much over $20,000 at this point, when I have 30 in it. So I'm going to have to go get some quotes on Monday, figure out if it's worth fixing. I would rather not fix it. I'd rather replace the windshield on there. But we'll see how much that's going to cost. Knowing BMW, I'm not going to go to them. But I'll have to go to some glass dick somewhere, and it's probably going to cost a fortune, in which case I won't do it. But... 
If it is affordable, then I can add that to my list. Fixing my wheels, putting my tires on, fixing my windshield, upgrading the navigation computer, and the navigation display. Everything just works out wonderfully. With that, I took a shower a little bit ago and I tried to reset myself because I was a little pissed this afternoon. You know, life's all about how you interpret what happens to you. So you can choose to get pissed off and be a dick about it, or you can kind of write it off and get over it. But I think I kind of did a mix today. I mean, I didn't flip the shit too much. But anyways, we bought Jim Gaffigan tickets a month ago to go up to Playhouse Square downtown Cleveland in the theater district district with Jack, Kennan, Taylor, and myself. So we're doing that here in about an hour. They want to go and spend a lot of money somewhere for food, as usual. So Taylor and I are going to go up and do the chill way and eat outside at California Pizza Kitchen again. So everybody's on their way over. In fact, they're late. It's 6.34. Three is supposed to be here at 6.30, but I'm not going to complain. Sorry, I'm talking too much. So anyways, maybe tonight I'll be able to relax and have a good time. All right, Taylor, first time on the vlog. Happy birthday, you're 19 now. All right, yes, give it shit. Give it shit, you're gonna check this, uh... oh boy. Yep, I can see it. It's either an Alpha or a Jag. Oh, it's an Alpha. Cool, pretty sure it's an Alpha. Freaking right. Need some paint, that's cool. Oh, Austin, he's, no, MG. We saw that one. Yeah, that is, that's, that's the guy, the one the guy left the key in, yeah. And a one series. And the focus! Oh, freaking rates, we got our way. They wanted to go get grilled cheese, a bunch of kids. But uh, <laughs> I, I think some people get that. But we ended up coming over here for pizza, yeah. bacon. Yeah. Yes. And Taylor got yeah, tomato. Okay. okay, yep. How many pounds of bacon do you have today? One. Uh, downtown Cleveland at night. Actually, I am very impressed. Okay, it should be on the it's, left. Yeah. Friggin' right. It's actually nice. Now I need to get parked. Now uh, we are here in the theater district. We got some hogs up there. Jack's doing well here in the Jack era. Ah! Mercedes Benz, Panama. Yeah. Friggin' right. Hey, I can film now, right? He's gone. Yeah. It's a beautiful theater. I'm actually impressed. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. Moto 3. Taylor's doing emails. I was surprised it was all new material. Yeah. That I would have hell? G37XS Turbo. Beautiful. Very nice. Malibu Roo. And the Focus! And an A4. Alright, so over there is current day Progressive Field. I bet most of you know what it used to be called here in Cleveland, Ohio. All three of us know, we're trying to get Taylor, so it's Progressive Field remember. now, it starts with a J. Come on, you've lived near Cleveland your entire life. I hate baseball. Yeah, but your family loves baseball. And my brother. And your, yeah, your brother loves baseball. So right over there, Taylor, Jacobs Field. Sound familiar? Yeah. Yeah. Formerly yeah. Jacobs, now Progressive Field. Okay, all of them are you uh, All of them are We're safe. Uh, we got a woman driver. Cleveland, 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 Cleveland. We got Pinkerton Bank over here. We're They're not at uh, Euclid and we East Nine. We have to go towards Legacy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want me to get the address for Yeah, get the address and I can just plug it. There's the Browns, best football team in the United States. Where am I going? Straight, best record. Straight, straight, straight. If you want to go straight, you'll end up on uh, the pier. Shit. Well, we're going to the pier. All right, we're going to the pier, boys. Uh, yeah, Taylor knows where it's at. Look at all the freaking seagulls. Oh, 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 Obviously, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Right, there's the good time to bring all lit up for uh, its night cruises, which may or may not happen. Colt, this should look familiar. This is where we were uh, when we had to book it over here because we were really late for our parking. Cleveland's lift ship and uh, more seagulls. Right or straight? If you go left, you'll hop on the freeway. 